In this video, we're gonna figure out which version of FL Studio is right for you. Let's get into it. What's up my producer friends, it's David with anothermonsterproductions.com. So the first thing that I would recommend you do is go directly to the manufacturer's website. That's gonna be imageline.com. And then we can go over here to where it says download and we can click FL Studio. And then there's a little button down here which says compare editions. So we can click this and this is gonna give us all the information we need to know as far as what comes with what version of FL Studio. So there are four different versions of FL Studio. There's the Fruity Edition, Producer Edition, Signature Bundle, and All Plugins Bundle. And these all have different price points. You can see that here. The cheapest is the Fruity Edition. It's only $99. And so what I'm gonna do is go through the various different plugins that you're gonna get with each one of these editions. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a good enough understanding about the differences that you can actually make a good decision about which version is gonna be right for you. Now, before we jump in here, I do wanna mention that if you're considering getting the Akai Fire, which is a controller that you can purchase and the FL Studio software comes along with it, that's gonna come with the fruity edition of FL Studio. So if you already wanna get that controller anyway, I would recommend going ahead and getting the controller first, installing the fruity edition of FL Studio, and then upgrading to the producer edition. So that is something that you can do. Once you've purchased one edition, if you decide that it's not quite right for you, if you wanna upgrade for any reason, you don't have to rebuy the whole new edition. ImageLine will let you upgrade for essentially the same price, which is the difference of price points from, from one to the next. So just something to be aware of, uh, and hopefully it'll take a little bit of pressure off you as far as deciding which version's right for you. Now, me personally, when people ask me which version of FL Studio I recommend, I would not recommend the Fruity Edition. Uh, it even says over here, the Fruity Edition is limited. It does not come with quite everything that you need to really get into music production. So what I recommend is at least the producer edition to start off with. So you're looking at spending at least 200 bucks when you're ready to invest in FL Studio. Now, as I mentioned before, there's no pressure. If, you, if all you can afford is the fruity edition, I'd say go ahead and get that. Start getting familiar with the software and with the layout of the program. And then whenever you get the money saved up, go ahead and upgrade to whatever edition that you need. All right, so that's enough about that. Let's actually dive into some of the differences. So there are some primary primary plugins included in FL Studio, which to me are an absolutely essential part of my workflow and that I really highly recommend. And what I'm gonna do in this video is kind of go over the plugins a little bit and tell you what they do, and hopefully that'll give you an idea as to whether or not you're actually going to need them for what you wanna do. So let's start with Edison. So Edison is an audio editor and recorder. So this is actually going to allow you to record audio into FL Studio, which is not something that you can do with the Fruity Edition of FL Studio. So Edison is a really, really powerful tool. I highly recommend looking into it, figuring out exactly what it can do whenever you get kind of acquainted with FL Studio. So Edison comes with the Producer Edition onward. So if you're interested in doing any sort of recording within FL Studio, uh, you're pretty much gonna have to get the, at least the producer edition right off the bat. So the next plugin that I wanna talk about is Newtone, and this is a pitch and time editor plugin. There's a very popular plugin called Melodyne, which a lot of professional mixing engineers use, and this is basically FL Studio's version of that. It really allows you to hone in and like perfectly edit and fix any sort of mistakes in vocals as far as pitch and timing and that sort of thing. And you can do it in a way where it doesn't sound super auto-tuned, it sounds really natural. So it gives you a lot of really amazing flexibility there. And that's gonna come with the signature edition. So you have to at least get the signature edition if you want that plugin there. Now you may be thinking, oh, this is sort of like auto-tune. And yes, in a way you can actually achieve the auto-tune sound using this plugin. But the main difference is you can't really record into it. So if you're like an artist and you're interested in getting FL Studio to record your own voice and you wanna throw like an auto-tune effect, Newtone's actually not what you wanna use for that. Um, but FL Studio does have a plugin which is called Pitcher, uh, which will do that for you. So Pitcher also comes with the signature bundle. And this is the plugin that you would use if you were trying to record your own vocals 
and get that sort of auto-tune effect where it's actually fixing your vocals in real time while you're recording. And while I'm down here, let's actually talk about Grossbeat. So Grossbeat is another really, really popular plugin, especially for hip hop and trap music. This is sort of the holy grail for trap music. And this plugin only comes with the signature bundle as well. So it may be another sort of deal breaker there. I definitely recommend looking into Grossbeat and checking out some of the features of it if you're interested in producing that type of music. Another plugin that is essential in my workflow and that I use a lot for mastering within FL Studio is Maximus. Maximus comes with the producer edition. Now, as far as synths go, FL Studio does have a lot of great synths included in it, um, even in the Fruity edition. I don't wanna spend too much time in this particular video going over all of these, um, but of course you can kind of look through these and do your own research if you feel the need to. On top of this, there are a lot of really great free synth options out there. And if you check in the description of this video, I'll be sure to leave a link to a Google document, which is an accumulation of a ton of awesome free plugins, uh, free synths, free effects, and even some free drum kits, which should help you get started with production. So obviously there's a lot of plugins to go through here. I don't wanna overwhelm you with all the different features of this stuff. Uh, I think I covered all the main ones, which are really important to me. As I mentioned earlier, it's not the end of the world if you get like the producer edition and then wanna upgrade to the signature edition later. ImageLine makes that really e easy to do. And another really cool thing about FL Studio is that you have lifetime free Free updates, which is just a great policy that ImageLine does. So just another reason to uh, choose FL Studio over some of the other DAWs out there. And by the way, just a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by FL Studio. I just really like the products and I hope this video was helpful for you and now you're going to be able to make an educated decision as far as which version to get. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do do a lot of FL Studio tutorials on here and just production tutorials in general. So if you have questions about various various things within FL Studio while you're learning to produce. I may have a video on it and I'll be releasing a lot of videos in the future as well. So keep an eye out for all that and I'll see you in the next video.